Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Myself, Yojana Kumar, lecturer in chemical engineering of KKW Polytechnic Nashi. Today I am going to discuss the process flow diagram of ethanol production by Polaris. Ethanol is a volatile, flammable, clear and the colorless liquid. Ethanol is a, also a good solvent. It is also used as a zermicides, beverages, antifreeze fuel, or depressant, and the chemical intermediate. It can be made by the fermentation process of material that contains sugar or from the compound which can be converted to sugar. Yeast enzyme readily ferment sucrose to ethanol. Properties of alcohol are molecular formula of ethanol is C2H5OH. Its molecular weight is 46.07. Density of the ethanol is 0 0.791 at 20 degrees Celsius. Boiling point of ethanol is 78.3 degrees Celsius. The structural formula of the ethanol is CH3 CH2OH. CH3, CH2, OH. And this is nothing but the structural formula of the ethanol. Here you can also see CH3, CH2, and the OH. Different chemical reactions which are involved in the production of ethanol are main reaction takes place in the in this process is. First, the molasses C12H22O11 reacted with the water and it forms C6H12O6. And this is nothing but the zymase. After that, this glucose that is C6H12O6 get converted into the ethanol that is two molecules of C2H5OH and the, it, it evolved carbon dioxide. During this reaction, energy is evolved, that is, delta H is equal to 31.2 kilocalorie. Side reaction which takes place inside this process is this C6H12O6 get reacted with the water and it forms the alcohol that is ROH and the aldehyde that is RCHO. It means in the process of formation of ethanol, we get two byproducts, two product. one is ethanol and the second byproduct is alcohol and the aldehyde. This is the process of formation of ethanol from the molasses. Uh, this diagram I have taken from the inclusive science engineering.com. Now we will see one by one. Molasses is stored in this molasses storage tank. Molasses is generally a liquor obtained as a byproduct of the sugar industries. Molasses is a heavy viscous material which contains sucrose, fructose, and the glucose. After this molasses storage tank, this molasses is sent to the sterilizer tank. Here Yeast is sterilized under pressure and then it is cooled. And then this yeast is sent to the yeast culture. In this, we add, we add some nutrients into this yeast cultures. In this time, yeast grows in the presence of oxygen by budding, and yeast is cultivated in advance in this yeast culture tank. Also, CO2 is evolved in this yeast culture tank. From this yeast culture tank, it is sent to the yeast storage tank. Yeast, which is present in this yeast storage tank, are unicellular over and having 0 0.004 to 0 0.010 mm in diameter. The pH of this adjusted yeast is 4.8 to 5 and the temperature is up to 32 degree Celsius. From this yeast storage tank, it is sent to this fermentation tank. 
In this fermentation time, chemical changes takes place by the action of enzyme invertase and the enzyme is secreted by the yeast of molasses. The fermentation which takes place inside this tank is a anaerobic, means the um, anaerobic bacteria are used in this fermentation process, means it does not require oxygen for the process. In this process, heat is evolved and it is generally removed with the help of the cooling coils which are used in this fermentation tank. Residence time for this fermentation tank is 30 to 70 hours and the temperature is maintained at 20 to 30 degree Celsius. 8 to 10 percent alcohol by volume is produced by this fermentation process. To maintain the pH of this fermentation tank up to 4.5 HCl or sulfuric acid is added into this fermentation tank. Through this from this fermentation tank, it is CO2 is evolved. And, and to remove this CO2, it is sent to the scrubber. Here in this scrubber, carbon dioxide is released and utilized as a byproduct. This byproduct CO2 contains some ethanol due to vapor liquid evaporation and can be recovered by the water scrubbing process. For this, we are adding a H2O in this. And here you can see CO2 is removed through this scrubber. From this, it is sent to the this beer still. From this fermentation, fermentation tank, it is sent to this beer still. In this beer still, 50 to 60 percent concentration alcohol and the aldehyde is produced. And from this beer still, slopes are removed and these slopes are uh, slopes are having a concentration by evaporation of the cattle feed or the discharge as a it is discharged as a waste. It is the main uh, bottom product of this beer still. The slope is concentrated by the evaporation for cattle feed or discharge as a waste. Slope contains proteins, sugar and vitamins. So from this beer still, it is signed to this aldehyde tank and where the aldehyde is removed to this tank and the water is removed as a bottom product. And from this aldehyde separation column, it is sent to the decanter. This blue color is a decanter. And from this decanter, fusel oil is removed. This fusel oil, which is high molecular weight alcohol, it is mainly removed through this decanter. This fusel oil is uh, fractionated to produce amyl alcohol or are sold directly. The principle behind the extraction of fusel oil from ethanol is that higher alcohols are more volatile than the ethanol in solution containing a high concentration of water. Through this decanter, it is sent to the rectifying column. In this column, a zeotropic, a zeotropic alcohol water mixture of 95% ethanol is withdrawn as a side product. You can see from here, this 95% ethanol is withdrawn from this rectifying column. This 95% ethanol is condensed in a condenser and sorted, sorry, is stored in a storage tank. At the, uh, at the bottom of this rectifying column, water is discharged from here, H2 is discharged. Here, alcohol water mixture are rectified to increase the strength of alcohol. And from this rectifying column, it is sent to the storage, storage tank. From storage tank, three streams are evolved that are direct sale as a portable, second is for the industrial use, or for third is 
to anhydrous steel to produce the 100% ethanol. So from this uh, storage tank, this alcohol is uh, sent to the mixed tank. In this mixed tank, denaturant is mixed with the with this 95% ethanol, which is produced in this rectifying column. To, uh, to get the denatured alcohol. The denaturant is normally uh, methanol is used, uh, methanol having a 10% volume concentration. Okay, from this, it is assigned to the tertiary azeotropic distillation where benzene is added as a azeotropic agent. The product from the rectifying column is a ternary minimum boiling azeotrope of ethanol, water and the benzene. Here mainly two units are present, anhydrous steel decanter stripper for the heat exchange, heat exchanger. Anhydrous motor fuel grade ethanol, 100% ethanol is produced as a product. Means to this column, to this ternary azeotropic distillation we get 100% pure ethanol in this way 100% pure ethanol is produced with the help of the molasses